Hello guys, in this video we are going to see how to use the shift register IC74595. Seven four H C five nine five and it is serial in parallel out shift register. So it has one single input and more than one output. It has sixteen pins. Pin number eight is ground and pin number sixteen is plus VCC. We will apply plus five volt. Now see the other pin. Pin number fifteen is first output. It is Q zero. And then second output, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth output. Q0, so it is Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, Q5, Q6, and Q7. So these are the eight output. It is serial out. This pin is used to cascade this IC. So we will see this in other video. Now today we will not discuss about this, the cascading. So these are the all output. Pin number 10 is input. It is master reset. And it is active low pin. Pin number 13 is also input. It is output enable. And it is active low. This pin is used to reset the IC. So whenever you want to reset the IC, you have to connect this pin to the ground. So in general, we connect this pin to the plus VCC. This pin will enable the output. So to enable the output, we have to connect this pin to the ground as it is active low. Now see the pin 11, 12 and 14. Pin number 14 is data in. We will get the data from microcontroller or any other digital IC. It is data in. Pin number 12 is storage register clock pin, STCP and pin number 11 is shift register clock pin, SHCP. This pin, okay. We will see the function of these three pin in practical. So for that we have to design a practical circuit. These are the output with all of this we have to connect a resistor and then an LED. The value of the resistor is 220 ohms. With pin number 10 and 16, we have to connect plus VCC, that is plus 5 volt. And with pin number 8 and 13, we have to connect ground. Pin number 14, 11 and 12 are the input. As these are the input pins, so we have to connect a pull down resistor and I already explained why should we connect pull down resistor with the input of a digital IC. Link is given in the description below. The value of the pull down resistor is 10 kilo ohms. To provide input, we have to connect a switch with this and other side of the switch is connected to the plus VCC. This is SPST switch, push button switch, push button switch. This is data in, shift register clock pin, storage register clock pin. This is the data 1 or 0. This is to use to enter the data inside the IC and this is used to see the result. And we are connecting an LED with this pin so that whenever we press the switch this LED will glow up. It will be easier for us to detect whether the switch is on or off. The value of the resistor is 220 ohms. So this is the practical circuit. Now we'll see this in breadboard. This is the IC 74595. Pin 10 and 16 is connected to the plus VCC and pin number 8 and 13 is connected to the ground. Input switch 1. This is the data switch. This is shift register clock input. This is storage register clock pin. One pin of the switch is connected to the positive rail. With the other side, we have to connect the LED. 
the negative pin of the LED is connected to the ground through 220 ohms resistor. As pin number 11, 12 and 14 are the input pin, so we have to connect pull down resistor with this. I already explained why should we connect pull down resistor with input pin, link is given in the description below. As this is the data switch, so we have to connect this switch to pin number 14. This is clock input, so I am connecting this to pin number 11. And this is storage input, so we have to connect this to pin number 12. Pin number 14, pin number 11, pin number 12. Data input, SHCP, STCP. Input connection is completed, now we have to connect the output. The LEDs, the negative pin of the LED is connected to the negative rail. With all of this, we have to connect 220 ohms. Pin number 15 is first output, so pin number 15 should be connected to the first LED. Pin number 1 to second LED and like this, we have to connect them all. Pin number 15 to first LED. Pin number 1 to second LED, pin number 2 to third LED, pin number 3 to fourth LED, pin number 4 to fifth LED, pin number 5 to sixth LED, pin number 6 to seventh LED, and pin number 7 to eighth LED. All these things are connected. Now I am connecting plus 5 volt. Here it is negative and the positive. This is data, this is clock input and this is to use to push the data 1 or 0 and this is to see the result. Now our data is 0, so if we push and if you see the result, it will be 0 only. If we want to store 1 in this IC, so make the data 1, then push it. In this way, 1 is entered to the IC, but you cannot see this, so to see the result, you have to press it. See, here 1 is entered. Now again, if you want to enter another one, make this data 1, push it. And it is shifted like this. If you want to see the result, press this one it is shifted. If you want to enter 0, now this data is 0, so push 0. 0 is entered and it is shifted like this. If you want to see the result, press this one. So, 0, 1, 1. Again, if you want to push the 0, here it is now 0, 0 is pushed there will be another 0. Now, if you enter 1, make it 1 and push it. After pushing, it will be something like this. If you want to see the result, press it. 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. If you want to enter 2 zeros, then press 2 times it is 0, so now 2 zeros is entered. So it will be something like this. Okay, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. If you enter 1, 1 is entered. So, our output will be like this, 1001001. So, this is how shift register works. Now, see another example, here our data is 1. Now, if you press this one 8 times, then 8 1 will be stored, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 all are 1. If you want to enter 8 zeros, then make this data 0, 
and press it eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All are zero. If we want to enter three one, then press three times. After making one, the data one, one, two, three. Now, if we want to shift this three one up to the end, so what we have to do is we have to push the zero in this side. Zero pushed, result. Zero, another zero pushed, result. Another zero pushed, result. Another zero pushed, result. Another zero pushed, result. Now, if you push with one, then make it one, then push it. One is already there. To see the result, press this one. See. Let's see another example. Let's say you want output as 11001100. So what you have to do is, you have to see from this side. First you have to enter or push 0 in this IC. 0, 0. Here it is now 0. So you have to push two zeros. So two zeros are there. Now you need two one. Data is one. Now push two one, one two. Again you need two zeros. So two zeros. And now again you need two one. So pushing two one. Now see the result. Here it is one one zero zero one one zero zero. So this is how it works. If you want to push this data up to the end, so you have to enter zeros. So this is how uh, shift register works. In the next video, I'll show you how to cascade this IC. At that time, we need pin number 9. So guys, this is all for today. I hope you like this video. If so, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any doubt on this, then please let me know in the comment section. In the next video, I'll show you another topic. Till then, stay happy and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.